Years ago, an epiphany made me realize what I've come to call being the astronaut, a phenomenon that I imagine happens to those who have the privilege of going to space. On the surface of the Earth, we're surrounded by vast, flat plains, punctuated by oceans and mountains. We can't see very far in any direction, usually less than five kilometers, and the tendency, through no fault of our own, is to become absorbed in our own little worlds. Our social circle, our place of work, our neighborhood, or even our country. Because of this familiarity, this relative lack of context, we might be guilty on occasion of thinking a little too small. Thinking small creates ideas like me versus you, my family over your family, or my beliefs versus your beliefs. We can expand our context, but it will not come and find us. We must seek it out. The internet can help with context, but we tend to settle into little local communities called echo chambers, interacting mostly with those sharing the same views as us. Books, movies, and interaction with the enlightened are great ways of becoming more enlightened ourselves, and they're cheap. Then there's travel, perhaps the most reliable way of zooming out your context from time to time. I called it being the astronauts to try and capture what it must feel like to look back on the Earth for the first time. Most astronauts don't exceed the 400 or so kilometers of the International Space Station. Even from that low altitude, the Earth's horizon looms a massive 2,300 kilometers in all directions. Looking down, I imagine the striking notion of seeing the continents, distinguishable only by shape, and bearing none of the abstract human narrative we project onto them. No borders, no politics, no notion of mine or yours, just a big piece of rock that we all share. And then there's the view reserved for the 30 or so Apollo astronauts who've been far enough, where the whole Earth becomes a small portion of what you can see, what Carl Sagan called the pale blue dot. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena, he said, and on it, is everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was. Most of us will never be astronauts, but that doesn't stop us from seeking out context of our own, even if just to gain a little perspective. <laughs>